Another interesting generator is lace. As you can see as other common, when we insert the, any common in the Sinon 4D, it's going to the center of the board of the software. We insert the circle and move it here. The lace is creating the object from its position based on its axis here. Simply click and drag and make, a, uh, make the circle child of the lace. And as you can see, lace create this model. Going to the <coughs> its settings, the angle. We increase the angle from 360, uh, 360, reduce it. And as you can see, the lace like act like this. This is mm, lace axis. This is position of the, your model and act like this. And when you click and move the position of the uh, model, you can see what happened here. Simply, you can go into the circle and change it to this parameter, for example, make it to ring. And if you can make it editable, go into the point and change the model like this. If you face any issues like this, as I said before, go into the intermediate point and subdivide it that, refer to the previous lessons. And if you go into the display and graph shading line, you can change the subdivision here for more quality and accurate model. Uh, the slider end at 360, but you can click and drag and make more degree, but the interesting part is movement. You can move the end of the lace like this and going more than 360 degrees and move it then. And you can scale in the end of the lace like this. Very interesting. Turn ground shading. If you need, you can increase the subdivision to more smooth object. <coughs> That's it. And the cap. These are the cap. I explained in detail all of the cap. The previous lessons refer to them and the selection also. Okay, I want to give you an ex another example. Okay, going to the right view and I want to uh, create a spline myself. Simply click, click and drag and you can draw any shape that you want and escape. Okay. I want to lace this object. This is open object. Okay. We bring the lace, make a child. As you can see, the lace doing like that. You can change your point and even you can rotate it, anything that you want. Okay. But as you can see, there is a hole here because uh, its position of this point is very important. You have to uh, locate it exactly at the center of, at the axis of the lace. The axis of the lace is here. Going back, turn it off. Okay. We have to go in and place Place this point, place this point. You can make it hard, I think. Going to this object, escape, right click and hard tangent. If you want. You have to uh, stick and snap this exactly at the uh, access point. You can use a snap point, but I want to teach you a, a tactic that doing that. Simply click and you have to move this and stick to the, this word axis that, uh, that, that the axis of the lace is exactly on that, as you can see. Okay, going to the point, select it. And here, in a coordinate manager, open it. 
As you can see, when we, when we move this point in position in X, Y, and Y and Z changing here, but these, these settings are relative for object. You have to change it to the word, change it to the word, and this position of point is uh, based on the word here. And you can zero the Z. As you can see, a snap to the word coordination, word access. As well as this, click. Make sure to go on the word and zero that. And when we turn on the lace, we have a one solid object. And you can change it, your spline, and add it point anywhere that you want when you are in a spline. For example, you want to hit the control and add a point here and change its direction. This is a lace object. In the settings, we have a cap and selection that I explained in the previous lesson in the text lesson. You can refer to that. We can make interesting model with a lace comment. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.